Hello everyone, welcome to another teaser session. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is the upcoming tutorials. But first, we're excited to announce that uh, we have uh, lifted up the look and feel of codehoos.com uh, just to make sure that you guys uh, have a better understanding of what services we provide, but also uh, what content we provide. As you can see in the first page, you, we kind of categorized uh, in two sections, front end and back end. In the front end side, if you click on it, uh, obviously you can go ahead and read the text, valuable information there. But what we provide is obviously the free open source Kotus UI framework. Uh, we literally use it for almost all the projects that we use. It's just so simple to uh, bring up an interface quickly uh, in a clean fashion. So uh, if you haven't seen it, please go ahead and do. Uh, then in the next session, we have our sort of uh, Kothus front-end tutorials. So if you click on it, you end up in the tutorials section. So we have a bunch of tutorials. Uh, for example, 3D drop-down reveal, animated site menu, go ahead and check them out. Really valuable information for you to get up and running and kind of learn and see what you can do with uh, front-end technologies like CSS and JavaScript. Going back, we obviously have our own CodeNest or the editor, uh, the online editor that you can just create really quick prototypes. So going back again, in the backend section, it's under construction, but we added a section for Open API 3 spec generator. If you don't know what Open API is, is basically some sort of a language or a sort of a protocol or a definition to to sort of make your API specifications, right? So when you click on it, you have some forms. We believe that this is not only the one of the best ways to learn to develop APIs, uh, but also to sort of create an spec for your API, right? But uh, enough said about this. Uh, this will come later in uh, one of the tutorials we have later on on how to basically create API definitions using the open API specification, right? So enough about this. Please go ahead and check it out. Uh, we have a lot of cool stuff over here. But if you remember in the previous tutorial, which I'm going to put the link in the description, we, we basically created a backend API using the happy Node.js library, as you can see over here. Uh, it literally uh, is a, an, an API that will run locally on our machine, and it only has an endpoint uh, with the slash resources, right? So if I, I can show you here, it, we just have to like run it through the node and now the API is up and running. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to try to build a, a sort of a front end application, very simple one. Uh, as you can see, like over here, if I refresh this page, I'm going to put the link for this as well. Uh, as you can see, I opened the network tab in the Chrome uh, inspector. Uh, so it's a simple JavaScript, uh, uses the fetch API uh, in JavaScript, uh, basically calling our endpoint like this, and then create sort of showing you how you can create a front end application. In this case, what it does is that it calls the resources endpoint. As you can see, it requests the URL HTTP localhost 8000 slash resources, which we created. And then the response of it are two mocked objects, as you can see here. And then we show you how you can simply using this, you know, very naive JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, you can basically present those data, right? Uh, as you might know, there are so many frameworks, front-end application frameworks like React or Angular or Vue.js. Uh, in the in, in couple of next tutorials, we're going to go ahead and talk about those as well. And we're going to just show you how you can utilize them. But in the next tutorial, as we promise, it's just going to be as simple as this. We just call the API, we fetch the data, and we present the data. So this is the next tutorial. And then after that, 
I, I guess yesterday I stumbled upon this uh, Apple website. Really great user interface. As you all know, Apple has always been great in not only the hardware that they create, like their you know desktop machines and also their laptops, really great design, but also they are really good with the interfaces on the web. And what I saw was when you when you go to apple.com and you press this search bar, they have this really cool sort of transition uh, on the uh, on the top navigation, but also showing this kind of suggestion box. And I thought maybe it's a great idea to kind of show you guys. We do a tutorial on creating kind of similar effect. So I went ahead and created this interface, uh, and we'll talk about it in the in, when the time comes for this tutorial. But when you click on this search icon here, you kind of get the similar sort of animation, right? So I'm very excited to talk about this. It's going to be a very extensive tutorial. Uh, it's going to use like uh, CSS uh, preprocessors, like SCSS in this case, and uh, of course uh, JavaScript to make sure that the interaction happens. So I will, anyways, put the link to these prototypes on the code nest. So go ahead and check them out. Uh, it's not as trivial as I thought, so it's going to take some time to kind of go through this. But I'm very excited for this tutorial. Again, uh, what I would like you guys to do is for us, supporting us is very important. If you could subscribe to the channel, if you could like and share, obviously, if you enjoyed these tutorials, it would be a great help for us. If you could share it to whatever community, Reddit or whatever that you guys are uh, active on, that would be a great help because you not only share these tutorials, but it's kind of it's like a manpower for us to kind of build and continue building these awesome tutorials. So thank you so much. Have a great day and night and see you next time.